So what I'm basically doing here is marking up the closest candles that I can find right because ICT always, you know, is always saying, hey, um, three to four candles. And, you know, I was never a mentorship, so I don't really know 100 percent. But um, diving into the OHLC concept, um, basically just marking the highs, the opens, the closes and the lows of the candles um, can give you a pretty good grasp of where, um, you know, the market is going to go or is going in, in general. Um, and, you know, after that, I'll go ahead and mark up my standard deviation, you know, um, put it up into the Asian stop. And then, you know, here you can kind of see how the standard deviations are lining up to the opens and the closes. So there I go ahead and mark some BSL, um, you know, that was taken after the fact, obviously, and then some sell side liquidity that was taken as well. Um, and then I dive a little deep into potentially what CLS or, you know, the market in general was going after, um, you know, once we passed that OTE um, entry point, you know what I mean? Now, this is kind of where I go um, on the one minute chart and dive a little deep into you know, what I'm actually looking for, right? So, you know, essentially candles are candles, right? And if you know how they form, you'll know, um, you know, order blocks or order blocks on any time frame. So marking out where that 0600 start was and then the 0700 start was, was the most important thing. And, you know, after I did that, um, you know, looking at 07 where the new session starts, um, you know, basically caught my attention because we ran some sell side liquidity at um, 0704. Um, and then as soon as the 15 minute mark hits, we go ahead and boom, reverse in the other area and basically go ahead and run out that 7-2 uh, buy side liquidity and resting right above there. We see some ver uh, fair value um, in terms of a fair value gap. And then right after we get um, a shift in market structure and that shift in market structure happens at that 45 minute mark, which basically happens all the time. Something that I, I rarely, um, you know, don't really miss because i'm i'm just um i'm confident in that move but a lot of other things need to line up in total um but yeah here on the five minute um we see the chart a little better you know going into that ote entry we see where price was heading into um you know finally running out that 1.07 big figure and then you know after we ran that sell side liquidity the market reversed but you know, by then I was already out. So, you know, here's a little snapshot and hope you guys enjoyed.